you just have to make sure that you allow yourself to be comforted by others, which is easier said than done. I'm gonna be wrapping you in my nice warm arms, okay? Everything is gonna be okay. Everything's gonna work out. You are an adorable being and deserve all of the affection that you get. You're safe and sound. Whenever you have those bad thoughts, I want you to just close your eyes and think about something that makes you happy. Hey, are you are you in there? <laughs> it's it's been a little bit. Um do you mind if I come in? It you've been in your room for a while. It's it's been a while now. Normally you're in you know, I'm out and about by now. I I decided to stay home from work just to make sure that everything's okay. You've been seeming a little bit down lately, and I just want to make sure you're doing alright. <laughs> okay, I'll come on in. <laughs> it's this time of day, and you're still in bed <laughs> okay well here i'm not even gonna tell you to get up i'm just gonna slide right on in there okay listen it's okay you don't need to be the strongest bean you don't need to be the strongest bun you you can have these moments where you're not feeling the best, but just make sure you let the people who want to help you, help you, you know? <laughs> I really want to help you. I want to make sure you're doing all right. I want to make sure that you're just having a smile on your face, even when your brain doesn't want you to. Because honestly, half the time, the worst enemy you can have is yourself. You're your harshest critic, and it's probably going to stay that way unless you're an egotistical, narcissistic person, which you're not. <laughs> you know, everyone has confidence issues sometimes. Everyone gets anxiety spikes. Everyone has doubts and worries. You're not alone. You just have to make sure that you allow yourself to be comforted by others, which is easier said than done. I know whenever I'm sad, I don't want anyone else to know. I don't want to bother anyone. I don't want to reach out. And I want to be the person that people can reach out to, which is unfair to those that genuinely want to help me. So let me be that for you. <laughs> let me help you, okay? <laughs> This might even just be an over-exaggeration. Sometimes you're a little hard bean to read. I can't always tell when you're sad or if you're just a little tired, you know? But either way, I really think you're overdue for positivity to be slammed into you. And don't worry, I'm not just going to be slamming positivity into you. I'm going to be wrapping you in my nice warm arms, okay? So just get comfy underneath those covers and let me help you get a little bit more comfy. I want your head to be nice and empty, okay? The only thing you need to worry about is the feeling of my warmth and the feeling of my hand against your head <laughs> and my arms around you. Just focus on the nice pats and the nice snug feeling. Honestly, sometimes it's better just to have a nice smooth brain. No thoughts means no bad thoughts, so just have a, the smoothest brain you can possibly have, at, at least for a little bit. I just want you to focus on my words and the fact that everything is going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. You are an adorable being and deserve all of the affection that you get. You deserve everything that's happening. 
well i mean at least the good things that are happening <laughs> sometimes life can be unfair but when it gives you those little little chocolate bars the milk chocolate little, little kisses you know like Mwah. you deserve those you should be able to treat yourself you should be able to feel happy you just deserve every little bit of love and I want you to know that you are absolutely not alone. You have me. You have the rest of the fluffle. You have everything. It's gonna be alright. Even if things seem horrible right now. It's going to be okay. You're safe and sound. Whenever you have those bad thoughts, I want you to just close your eyes. Calm your breathing down. And think about something that makes you happy. Whether that be the feeling of my arms around you. A warm hug. Maybe maybe your favorite food. Maybe a special anime to you. Maybe a show that you really like. Maybe a character you really like. Maybe a person you really like. Just whatever you feel your brain trying to just be an absolute bully to you. It's okay. Just, just know that you're not alone. No matter what your brain is trying to tell you, at the end of the day, at least you'll have me. And there's so many others that care about you. Just everything is going to be all right. You're appreciated. You're loved. You have so many people that care about you, myself included, and you're just an amazing being. You have so much potential, even if you haven't found exactly what you believe is right for you, you'll get there. You'll find that little special thing that you do so well. I mean, I could already think of one that you do. Every time you smile, it's... One of the prettiest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I can't help but smile every time I see your little little lips go up, you know? <laughs> every time I see that grin, it just makes people around you smile too. And that's a talent. <laughs> Some things you may not know that you're good at yet. Some You might not think that anything feels right. And you just have to keep going, keep trying. You have so much time. You have so much time. Even if it feels like there's not enough time, there's still the next day. Just because the day seems like it's ending does not mean that's just the end of everything. You have days, weeks, months, years. You have so long to do all of the things you want to do. A lifespan goes up to like 90 years on average and you have a lot of time left just because you seem to be getting older and you're not getting any younger that doesn't mean you can just stop the dreams and ambitions that you have you can still keep going you have potential it doesn't matter how late you start there's some people that go to school or go back to school when they're like 50 and they end up doing what they want to do and they have their own dreams some people just may not find it immediately you may already have the perfect thing that you want to do and you just have to keep working towards it and you may not know what you want to do yet you have all the time in the world to figure it out and you have people that will support you like me <laughs> and i'm sure there's many others that would care to give their little two cents in but at the end of the day, you're your own person. You decide what you want to do. You got this. I believe in you. You can do anything you put your mind to. Even if you even if you fail like a hundred times, you're still learning. You're learning from the mistakes that you made. And each time you get a little better. So even if you seem like, oh my God, this is horrible. I can't believe I just can't seem to get this right. Think about it like a video game. 
if you're playing Elden Rings or Dark Souls, the first time you do a boss, it seems absolutely impossible. But after you die a hundred times, you start knowing the patterns and you just get better and better over time. And gradually, you'll be like, wow, that boss was so easy. Why did I have trouble with that? And then you'll go to the next boss and be like, oh my god, this is impossible. How am I supposed to do that? And it's going to repeat. You just need to keep working on what you think is your thing. And just have fun with it. Make sure you enjoy what you do. That's what's most important. Do what makes you happy. It doesn't matter if something that you're doing gives you a, astonishing luxuries, like it, an extremely high paying job, an amazing tuition. It's just, if that's not what makes you happy, you don't have to, you don't have to do it. You don't have to go through the traditional means of doing stuff. Even if, let's say your parents think you have to be, you have to go to, you have to get like 10,000 scholarships. You have to become a doctor. You have to go to school. Make sure you go to school. So many famous people didn't go to school. The only time you should go to school is if you feel like it's right for you. Not everyone learns the same way. You know, a lot of people suck at taking tests, but you put them in a practical setting and they would trump anyone who has hundreds in test taking. Like, Everyone is different. Everyone learns differently. You might be 10 times more successful not going to school than going to school. You just need to figure out what's right for you and don't feel inclined to do what you think is right. Do what you feel is right. Listen to your heart. Just believe in yourself. You have this. You got this. You can make your own, pave your own path. Do your own things. Make sure what you're doing is what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Just, even if people don't understand now, once you become a master of your craft, people will turn their, you know, if people start disapproving of what you do, and they start doubting you, and they, like, if they start putting you down for what you want to do, they're not real friends. They don't have your best interest at heart. Unless you're trying to go into something like drug dealing <laughs> or something illegal. Like, it's good to have a second opinion, but you have to make sure the person that you're asking the second opinion to has an open mind and are looking at all the different possibilities. Like, you shouldn't exactly go into something if there's, like, a ton of risk involved. You have to... Before making the decision that you want to do this, you have to make sure you understand all the risks so that you don't go in completely blind. But it's important to do what you want to do. And eventually, after many twists and turns of deciding what you want to do, where you want to go, you'll make it. You'll get there. You're going to do amazing. <laughs> I love how this turned into a rant about <laughs> your future listen you're gonna be okay everything's gonna be fine your anxieties your worries your doubts your fears everyone has those you're not alone and people want to help you people want to reach out people want to give you their guidance people want to assist you people want to help you you just have to find those special beings that really care about you and your future. And <laughs> one of those beings has their arms around you right now. And just, I know things seem tough right now. There is so many things wrong with the world. Sometimes it looks like the world's going to end tomorrow, but it's not. It's going to be okay. Just, we need to do our best to smile, be happy, and spread positivity. And just,
be happy not for ourselves, but for others, you know? Now, of course, we're not talking about any of that fake happiness, though. We want to be genuinely happy. We want to... Someone else's mood can have heavy effects on other people's moods. Like, if you go into a room and you're smiling and you're laughing and you're just having an absolute blast of a time, it's gonna happen. It's just like when you yawn. It's contagious. You start laughing, you laugh your ass off. And next thing you know, you got five other people in the room laughing. <laughs> and it's the same way for, you know, the other way around. If you come into a room and you're feeling, you're feeling sound, you're feeling down, you're not talking much, people are going to feel it. And that's okay. You can feel down. But when those people ask you, hey, are you, are you doing all right? You don't just answer, yeah, uh, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Or I'm okay. If you're not okay, don't say you're okay. If they're asking, is everything okay? That means they want to help if it's not. They want to, they're reaching out to you. And it's okay to be vulnerable, especially in front of the people that really care about you. Like, I, I'll say it a million times with me. You are in a safe spot. If you want to make, if, if you want to cry, if you want to just wrap your own arms around me, if, if you want to make any sort of noises, it's okay. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, whatever gets everything out of your system, whether it be tears, the, don't even worry about if it's like <laughs> the, the gross, what, what do they call it, hideous crying, where it's just like, gross sobs or like the sniffles and all of that stuff it's okay it's it's okay you need to let it out crying is good for you it you you don't have to be that macho person who's like yeah i don't cry because i'm not i'm not a weakling i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna show weakness you need to you need to let it out, the emotions that you're holding in. You need to vent it away. I know I've been rambling on for a lot, so I'll just, I'll stay quiet for a little bit and just whisper some compliments into you, some sweet nothings, if you will, and just let the, the patting and the hugging do the talking for me, you know? <laughs> So, just don't worry about anything, okay? Everything is going to be okay. I'm here for you. I appreciate you so much. You deserve every little bit of affection that you get, and more. You're absolutely precious in every sense of the word. You deserve happiness <laughs> and lots of it, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be okay. You got this. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. Just head empty. Only happy thoughts. Just the nice sounds of gentle pats and a bit of hugs. You're gonna be all right. Everything is going to work out in the end. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> Everyone has those kinds of days. 
you and I have had those kinds of days. And the next day will be better. We have tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be even better than today. That's going to be okay. You have me and so many others. You are one of the sweetest things I know. You're so sweet. You're really kind and you always do your best to cheer me up. So please, let me try to cheer you up. <laughs> Even if you're not feeling down, I still want to spoil you. I still want to make sure that you're happy and I haven't really gotten to hug you like this in a really long time, so I'm glad. I'm glad I'm able to. I'm sorry we're not going on this huge adventure full of mystical journeys and such, but it's okay. Sometimes it's good to just have a nice, relaxing day. And I don't mind laying in bed for a little bit with you, as long as it means you get to be a happy being by the end of it. So don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. I believe in you. Everything is going to be okay. Everything will be fine. It's all gonna work out. I promise. <laughs> so don't forget. Happy thoughts. Head empty, smooth brain. Don't let the brain bully you. You're perfect just the way you are. I wouldn't ask for you any other way. And just you're amazing, okay? Absolutely amazing. I appreciate the absolute heck out of you. And I'm just so happy that you know, I have you and you have me. <laughs> Just thank you for being you. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> so good and so kind, so sweet. Sweetest little bean I know. Okay. I'll stop. I'll stay quiet for a little bit so that you can actually relax and you can focus more on my warmth and my pets, okay? <laughs> so, in case you drift off in my arms, sweet dreams. Chill. <laughs>
I won't talk, okay? Apparently my cat will, though. I appreciate you. You're one of the... <laughs> what? Oh my god, cat. What is your problem? Cat, <sighs> what is your problem? Stop making noise. <laughs> 